All right, so for our assignment today, we're working on multiplicity. So the first thing we need to do is open Photoshop and get our pictures in here. So we're gonna go to File, Open, select all of our images. So I wanna select all four of them, so I'm gonna go Shift, hold it down, click the first one and the last one and they should all go blue. Hit Open and they should all four open in one document. So the one on the left I'm going to use is my background layer. And I want to get them all on one layer. So right now there's only one image per layer. So I'm going to drag the image out. And now it pops up on the side here as a separate image. I'm going to hold this blue section down, drag it onto my background image. And now on this image, there's two different layers. So I can exit out of this one and do the same thing for my remaining two. All right, so now I have one image with four different layers. Uh, you can rename them if you like. It might help so that you know which image is which, but you can always double check by just checking the eye and you can see which image is which. So this is my background image and right now I'm gonna work on the first image, which is me in the chair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the first image, which is layer one, and I'm going to go down to this tool here, which is add a layer mask. And I'm going to click on that. You should get this little white box that pops up. And then you want to make sure that this is black and the back is white. We want to go to our brush tool. Mode should be in darken. Opacity 100, flow 100. And I'm doing a pretty big section of the image, which is me in the chair right here. So I'm going to make this tool pretty big and I'm going to use a hard edge tool. So basically all I do is I go and I erase this section of the image and then the background image pops up which is me in the chair. So I'm going to keep doing that until I see all of the image which is right there. So you can notice there's a bit of a color different differentiation between these two images and the fan there is a little different. So I want to make the fan all the same. I use the fan from this image and now there's a huge color difference. So I'm basically going to go and try and find a line on the picture where you can't really tell that I blend it in. So I'm going to go there. Maybe down the side there too. And even the floor is a bit different. And then I want to soften that edge up, so I'm going to go to my tools right here. I'm going to use this one, which is a soft round tool. I'm just going to basically go over everything again and soften that edge up. You shouldn't really be able to see it after that. All right, so now I'm going to do that to the next layer. So I want to see what I'm working on, so I'm going to click the eye tool there. Go down to my masking tool. And now I have to erase this section here and this section here so I can see what's behind it. So I'm going to go back to my hard tool and erase it again. I gotta be careful right here because I'm getting pretty close to my second image. I don't want to erase it. So what would happen if I did this is I go like this, I'd start erasing myself like that. So I'm just hit, gonna hit Command Z to undo that. And get myself back in the picture over here. So that looks pretty good. I have another pretty definite line right there. So go through and fix that again. Maybe use my soft tool. I'm actually gonna zoom in so I can see a bit closer what I'm doing. So the zoom in shortcut is Command and the plus button. I'm get nice and close there. And make my tool a little bit smaller. 
I'll erase some of my back there. And soften that line up a bit. All right, so that looks pretty good. Another tip to keep in mind is uh, whenever you're doing this, make sure you always have some gray around your picture. Because if it's like this and it's smaller, you might only erase to here and then miss some stuff that's outside of what you can see. So just the tip, always have some gray around your picture. So I'm just gonna do my last layer real quick. Turn the eyeball on. Add a layer mask, go to my tool, make sure that's on. I'm gonna use the hard tool, make it fairly big because I got a lot to erase again. I'm just gonna go through and do everything. Self there. All right, so I'm going to soften that up again. And I went into my head a bit there. All right, so run. Uh, so now basically all that's left to do is turn all of your layers into one layer. So the same thing. I'm just gonna hit the first one, hold Shift down on the keyboard, and hit the last one. And then I'm gonna right click the image, merge layers, and now everything is all one layer. And that is all there is to the multiplicity assignment.